What's up, hog hunters? Welcome back to Single Hook Hogs Fishing, keeping you ready and motivated for trout fishing in Pennsylvania and surrounding areas. I'm Corporal Hood. We got a cool video for y'all today. Originally, we just went out to try to hit some new spots on one of our favorite creeks and check in on some of the ones we haven't hit for a while. We ended up being successful with the original intro, but the bite turned out to be very unique. So we wanted to go ahead and take this opportunity to show y'all how to set the hook on trout when they're just kind of nibbling and mouthing it. So in the footage you're gonna see here today, you're gonna see it's a really slow bite and the trout aren't taking that hook. They're not nailing it, they're not boom, boom and hitting. It was just kind of letting it sit and they put it in their mouth and for a second you just feel tension. So in today's video, what we're gonna be going over is how to set that hook for trout and how to set that hook when it's a very, very light bite because there's a little bit of a difference. And if you stay tuned until the end, we're also gonna show you some of the hooks that we like to use when fishing artificial worms and bait and power bait and things like that. We hope you all enjoy this footage and while you're watching it, try to pay attention to how slowly we actually set the hook and then we'll come back and explain to you all a little bit more in detail exactly what we're doing here. Fish on, fish on, it's a rainbow. Woo. It's a rainbow, fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a brown, nice brown. Get the net, get the net. In the net, dude, in the net immediately. Woo. Hey, buddy. Look at that. Nibbles, nibbles, nibbles. Here we go, here we go. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a nice rainbow. Dang, he just mouthed it. Look at that guy. Wow. Wow. Nice rainbow. No fight at all, but really red. Just mouthed it nice and clean, right on a lip. Look at that beauty, y'all. Nice, healthy buck. Nice, healthy buck, dude. We knew there'd be a fish in that hole. Hey, it was the white honeyworm again that did it. Appreciate support, y'all. So as y'all saw in that footage, you didn't see the rod tip hammer down, bang, bang, and then fish on. That drag didn't go out right away. It was almost just a little tension, and then fish on, fish on. But if you don't set the hook properly, that fish will just spit it out, or that hook can slip out real quick. We're going to go ahead and give you all a closer look at exactly what we're doing there. Rod we're going to be using, Okuma Salalo 4'6", with that Shimano Stratic C14+. Plus. Right here it is. Same one you all saw in the video. Okuma Salalo 4'6". And we got that Shimano Stratic C14, right there it is. All right, so what we're demonstrating here, y'all, is you get that nibble on the end of your rod, your rod starts jiggling, and the key thing right here is going to be your left hand. It's just going to be a little lift and a quarter turn. Let's do that again, right here. You see how when I lift the rod, the reel kind of turns automatically. The proper way you start getting little nibbles, bing, bang, boom. What you want to do is you just want to lift that rod a little bit, and at the same time, your reel handle is going to turn. So you just want to go little lift. Now, once you have that, you just want to kind of continue that reel until you hear your drag come out. Once you hear your drag come out, you know that fish is hooked, and you just kind of want to keep tension. And if you start to feel slacker, they come back toward you, then you reel in. So once again, right here, you see the rod tip down there, bing, bang, boom, it's jiggling, nibbles, 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 fish on. Now you won't stop there, you're not going to stop there like that when you're actually fishing, because you're going to have tension. 
But the key takeaway from all this is that you want to use that reel to help you set the hook and you don't have to rip it. You're not pulling real quick, bang, just little set and let that reel do the work and once you get the tension, keep tension on your rod hand and just reel as needed. And you want to make sure your drag is set to a lighter tension than the line you're using. For example, if you're using a four pound test fluorocarbon, you don't want that drag to be more than four pounds. You're gonna snap your line. If you're using a six, you can bump up a little bit. But the idea is not to reel against your drag, let the reel do some of the work, and you gotta have a rod that's got some good power, good backbone, that way it keeps that line tight for you. I think that Okuma Slalo comes in at like 39 bucks. And yeah, we got a Stratic on it, but I should tell you right there that we want to put that level reel on that rod and still get this performance. So you don't need to jam that hook in. And if you do jam that hook in, a lot of times with a heavy spinner it's going to come flying back at you on a smaller fish. Now, if they're hitting it, bang, bang. Sometimes you're not going to have to set that hook. They're just going to take it and it's going to set itself. But like you saw in today's video, where they're just putting it in their mouth and they're not really moving and they're coming right in, it's a weird bite, you kind of got to set and be a little gentle but you also have to be deliberate. So that's the main thing. When the fish are just mouthing it, be deliberate and gentle with your hook sets and let that reel do a lot of the work for you. So now let's take a look at some of the hooks that we like to use when fishing artificial worms and fishing bait and things like that. We got a couple different styles we're gonna look at, a couple different jigs, and some basic bait hooks. So hey y'all, what you're looking at is kind of a grab bag. You see that little pink box on the right over there? That's pretty much our carry box. It's got an assortment of these jig hooks in it. And then we keep our bait hooks in a separate container, but we have some packs we're just gonna show you. You can see size six, eight, 10, 12, and those are the sizes we recommend. But let's start off with the jigs and go ahead and talk about these ones up top right here. These jig heads up top, you see those? That's a 1 16th ounce on the left and a 1 32nd ounce on the right. And those are both Eagle Claw, Pro V jig heads. You see that V in the hook right there? Really big fan of these hooks. Absolutely love them. And below that, we have the infamous, the trout magnet. There they are. You know they catch fish. A little light jig. We use those hooks for bait, artificial worms, and we actually don't use the trout magnets much, the actual worms. But you got to be careful with the trout magnets because they will fail on a fish that has a really hard kite or a really solid jaw. These Eagle Claw Pro Vs, They've been much more solid, much more dependable, and a lot more durable. All right, so moving down to just our plain bait hooks. As you can see right here, we're running what's called an octopus style hook. And that octopus style hook, you see that little curve? It's not quite a circle hook, still has a little, little barb on it, and it has basically a straight shank with a curve where the eyelet goes. And these are all octo hooks, and we're running size six, eight, 10, and 12. And you see those 12s, they get little, all depending on how finicky those fish are being. More important than anything though is that those hooks are sharp and not going to break. Those trout magnets do fail on bigger fish with harder kites, but those Eagle Claws and those Gamagatsus have never failed us. And just to let you know, Eagle Claw also makes an octopus style hook, size 6 through 12, and they work great also. But make sure they're sharp and make sure they're not going to break on you and whatever y'all are comfortable with after that. So there you have it y'all, little tip on how to set the hook when the fish aren't really taking them and how to set the hook in general and some of the hooks that are going to be dependable on the water for you, the ones that we've used. Thanks again for checking us out, stay motivated, keep it tight, remember like, subscribe, share, follow us on the Facebook channel, got that thousand subscriber giveaway and a raffle of 500 and don't forget to check out Hoffman's Lures, www.hli.fish. They got some killer spoons, and they even make a spoon specifically for the fly, that Hoffman's Frizz. And you know we've caught some Huskers on those. Stay motivated, keep it tight, single hook hogs out.